Generic greetings and welcome to Pacific Drive. Today's beverage is a very nice dark berry soda. So welcome to Pacific Drive. This is a driving survival game set in a really creepy, atmospheric and sometimes a scary world. So pretty much the exact opposite of what I normally look for in a game. However, the concept intrigued me and I like the whole zone element. You know, like that's what was, that was one of the best things from Stalker, both the game and the film actually. Um, and yeah, the idea is that you go to a location and you have to look around, gather the resources, there's different anomalies, and there's a whole crafting thing that I really uh, appreciate as well. So the way we get out of this one, I'm to point I've only a couple of hours in the game, so I'm not even going to attempt to uh, describe everything what's going on. There's also very heavy story elements in this, so there will be some spoilers. And there we go, we got Tobias talking now. Didn't you tell me you saw it too? Saw what? What do you mean, what? Is it hallucinations? Like the ones from 1961. It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your... Wait. You didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. A colossal cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver had first aid to cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When cappy <laughs> amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically... Yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been... 40 years. So the... The talking heads essentially are feeding us the story. It's all about the anomaly. Uh, obviously, we're in the zone here, and we get anomalies like this thing I've just scanned, which is apparently hot mist. And um, the car, which is... Mm, essentially alive sort of ish maybe um, it protects us from a lot of this sort of thing but uh, yeah anyway I'm gonna try and go around it as best I can but the problem is that this car is utterly garbage in most ways and it's steering us off to one side and we can take damage as well for, uh, on this so I just have to go around as best I can and there we go. opposite to the remnants waveform they're paired signals it means they're related, and, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane! After all this time, we find a remnant, a uh, lean on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Pinch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. I... I need to go. <laughs> this is huge, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, the driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. Trying to. So yeah, um, as I said, the idea is that you uh, need to go into the zone and you can gather resources. So at this particular juncture, I'm basically cutting up this car because um, it's got lots of stuff in it. Um, and we've also got a flare as well. So yeah, there's also, as I said, the story going on, talking about the, the remnant and all that. The, the main thing is really is, is it just just try not to get caught out by uh, lots and lots of <laughs> of the um, the bad things that you will run into. So there will be uh, yeah, lots of anomalies. I'm just going to take up this stuff there and. There we go. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put that in here. So uh, transfer that over. And can we split this? Uh, I don't know if we can split this. Can I split it? Mm, don't know. Anyway, let's just close that up and we'll get back in. So, yeah, I, I really like the interior of the car as well because, like, you've got... Obviously, we're f I'm following along here, but, like, all this shows, like, the damage and your battery level, radiation, and there's, like, these special things here as well and oh what's those things up ahead i think those are tourists those are tourists so see these guys here another anomaly i'm just gonna park up get out have a little scan i've already scanned them but i just want to check tourist yes are these different tourists these ones 
Ow. Um, so if you get too close to them, they explode. And as you can see there, at, uh, that damaged me. Um, we've got a house over here. This is where I've been coming to. Oh, has that damaged this car? I don't think I've damaged the car. Hang on. Uh... No, it's okay. Anyway, uh, put it into drive, and I'm just going to drive it forward. This is our basically our main safety net here. And let's just put that there. And we'll turn it off because, well, you know, we want to save fuel and uh, and power. So we'll have a look over here. We've got a couple of places to search. So there's a backpack. We'll take everything from that. We've got a dresser. We'll take everything from that. And my goal is to... Get as much resource as I can. Oh, is this an auto repair station? I think it might be. <laughs> okay. Um, so after all this, uh, take all of that. How do I manage to put a flare on? I think this is a. It, it's a structure. What is it? It is a repair stop, which repairs your vehicles. I think. Nice. Um, I mean, we're actually pretty, f like, pretty okay for repairs. But I am going to drive into it. What was that? Uh, a bollard. Yeah, that's another anomaly. Anyway. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, can confirm. You oh, Can you drop it? Yes, you can. You can put a lit flare back into your pocket. I mean, you can, but you probably regret the decision. Um, let's go with that. Oh. What the... <laughs> okay. Distract an... Ah... Oh. So these tourists, they move, but they're coming towards the light source. Yeah, let me just get let me just get in and um let's move. I don't want to be here anymore. Uh let's go ahead and get into the repair station. And ironically, we'll probably take more damage trying to get out of the repair station than uh, we get off actually repairing. But uh hey, there we go. So we'll come up here and ah uh, lots of healing on the car. We can see the health going up there. And that's done. Right. Okay. So, we're going to head over here and just double check the map. Ah, look, right. We've got some stuff encroaching. Ah, so we can... Alright, we're going to have to make a... Actually, we're going to have to make a... A bit of a... Effort now to basically get over here and run back. I thought that was um, actually stable, but it's not. So, hmm. Not all good. Um... Right, let's figure out what happens when you go down a very steep hill in a car that was definitely not made for it. Oh, good grief, this is bad. This is bad. Um, it's, it's, it's sliding, it's going sideways. Um, and we've got more anomalies down the bottom. Uh, I don't know what those are, but um, they're exploding. So basically, I don't want to find out what they are. I'm going to keep going. Uh, Although I should probably scan them, but like I said, I don't think I have time. Um, that stuff is creeping in, which I don't think is the end of the world. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. And, ah, uh, we've got a tower coming up. So, I'm going to have to stop and probably deal with that, because it's going to hit the car. Um, alright, park. And I need my hammer for this one. So this is a tower, and it arcs and sparks like that. But we've got these plasma generators where we can break them. And that should have disabled it now. Yes, tower is disabled. And we can obviously pick up a lot of these resources as well. Good. Okay, that is definitely smoking on that side. Hmm. Anyway. Let's uh, go in here. Transfer our resources. Close that. Slam that shut, in fact. And... Oh, yeah. So this is a hurricane. We're in a hurricane. So I'm going to find out what that is. Hurricane. Sudden and dramatic change in atmosphere. Pressure is produced powerful and extremely local winds. Careful, this could be extremely dangerous. Whoa. Right, so we're literally in the eye of the storm now. This is not an anomaly of experience. I thought this was something else, actually. So, yeah, I'm just going to try and get through it. We've also got that and that. And those. Oh, it's dragging us towards the anomaly. Arr, I'm trying to reverse. I'm going to wait until it passes. It's not passing. 
We're coming to the edge of it now. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Why is the car... The car loves going sideways. Can't get enough of it. And we're almost out of it. I'm staying here because I want to scan that and I want to scan those. I think I've seen those before. But looking on the map... That's gone. Okay. We're out of it. So can we see it? Not really. So this is normally... It is... Sizzling mist, apparently. Sizzling mist. Is... Sizzles. Found in the damn forest. Hmm. Replicate some of the behaviour in the lab. Oh, well, I know what it's going to do. It's going to charge the car. The panels become charged. I think we get some battery back off that, actually. Um, these are the... their shakers, yeah. Okay, I've seen those before. Right, anyway. Um, I am going to have some food. Because we are a bit damaged. So a couple of tins of food. And... Let's go. I can look at these cabins and see what we've got here. That's an anomaly. That's an anomaly. That's an that's an anomaly. There's there's quite a number of anomalies here. Let's turn. Let's put the car in a park, and we'll get out and have a look around. So, um, for a start, there was this thing which is a pneumatic deposit box. I'm going to scan it. And, oh, I'll take everything from that. And including theories. We found some theories. And this is locked. Requires a pry bar. Luckily, I've got one. And inside the house. So, there's a chest. Requires pry bar. Managed to do that. Um, no point in going that way. Nothing around the back here. Oh, there's a cabinet here. We'll take all of this stuff, which is good. And that's Arkham and Sparkin. Right, I'm going to run over to this quickly. And that's now off. That's now off. <laughs> Whoa, look at the atmosphere from that. That looks excellent. It's because of the car. Okay, so. Um, transfer all of this. But the car's pretty much full. And most of the stuff I've got like, is running out. Um, ow! Oh no, did I just... Oh, hang on. What is going on here? We've got this hot mist coming in and that's radiation a lot of radiation luckily I am protected somewhat from the car so I think we need to escape and the way we do that is by going to this thing and picking up that orb. Has that stuff passed, by the way? Yes, it has. What is that anomaly? Ow. Sizzling mist again. Yeah. It just creeps around then, doesn't it? Alright, well, I'm going to cause some insta... Oh, God, that guy's right in front of me. Right, I'm going to cause some instability by picking up this stable anchor. And... Apparently I'm... What on earth? Oh! Oh no. This is bad. <laughs> uh, uh, right, put that in there. Close the door. There's this thing here bashes forward into a tourist. Uh, that's actually not as bad as I thought. So, we need... Uh, or we can, should I say. Let's start the engine. Uh, we can go ahead and get another one of those. Uh, getting kicked in the air. Turn. Please turn. Good. 
Yeah, we can get one of those things, and there's another one further down. Um, I'll mark it on the map, actually. So you want to go there. And you have to be outside of a certain range in order to activate the, uh, the portal to get back. And it's about, obviously, risk management and trying to get the most stuff we can while not taking stupid amounts of damage. Uh, fuel isn't bad. I think we've got a bit of damage to the light. Put it in the park. And I'm going to preemptively open this door. And here we go. So this is another stable anchor, which this is going to probably decrease stability of the area. Um, whoa, there we go again. It's kicked us up in the air. And I need to heal. One. Two. There's all the bollards. Three. All right. So we are starting to see a bit of damage on the car. And I need to activate this. So I activate that, and now a storm comes. And we need to get moving. Um, uh, on here, it goes there. And we need to go up as well. Right, fine. I'm just going to head over that way. There's a big tower there, which I probably would have had a look at if I wasn't so damaged. But anyway, let's go. Or is it down? I said it's up, or is it down? I don't know, but the car is just completely not responsive at all. <laughs> right, so we're heading towards that basically death laser. Looks like there's some sort of planet killer um, firing down. We've also got this like circle that comes in that um, we have to beat and I'm guessing if I don't get it in time then death potentially I don't know I assume you can die in the game I've uh, <laughs> the fun's in finding out um, but I don't really want to find out if not you can die why is getting sideways <laughs> the car it's like it's like trying to drive a greased up pig on roller skates All right anywhere towards the hot flaming ball of fury and we've made it that was more stressful than any right to be so we come back um 17 minute run so quite a short one 1.6 miles covered I, and we've got some resources i owe you an apology i screwed up i nearly got you killed the things i used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver they're foggy now the numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only thing we've got for now. You can do nothing, twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through, and fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Are you making use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage, if you need to take anything for a spin. So, apparently she's going to try and help us out. That would be nice. Anyway, we've got away from uh, that zone. We're, in, we're now in the safe zone, essentially. And this is where we have a chance to lick our wounds, repair the car, etc. Um, so I've managed to uh, get a couple of repair putties, which I'm going to now proceed to slap on every single surface on the car. So there we go, and anything that's damaged is going to get a repair putty, uh, or damaged to a point where we probably need to try this. I don't know why the um, the boot just keeps jumping up. I don't know why, but I'm going to repair it nonetheless. Uh, headlight, we'll have a repair of that. I think that we smashed that into a tree, which was uh, suboptimal to say the least, and we'll get that repaired. It's on 85%. I mean, anything over 90 is just decent and anything else past that is just bonuses um that door could probably do with a repair but i'm totally out of repair putty i could probably craft another one but do i really 
do I need to? Uh, yeah, go on. I'll repair. I'll, I'll get another one. I'm running out of chemicals, though. This is the last um, set of chemicals that I have. So I'll just put the, uh, the ducks in there. And I guess we'll repair this. And then this one. And then this one. I mean, it looks worse than it is. Taxed worse. Um, there's tyres. There's spare tyres on one side and um, summer tyres on the other. I think that's probably why it tends to crab. <laughs> um, and we have options now as well um, to obviously, like, fabricate different things. Uh, there's a matter deconstructor. Interesting. Loads of stuff we can unlock. There's also over here, and um, this is new as well. This is a tinkering station. So... Uh, what seems to be the problem? Battery is activated. Um, and you can say for that, actually, it makes slow drains or every car door is opened. And then oh, there's loads of things you can do to customise the car. All right. Anyway, that's been a little bit of Pacific Drive. I just want to... I'm still getting the grips with the game and learning, picking it up, enjoying it, etc. But, uh, yeah, it's... It's interesting. I remember seeing this, and I'm I'm 99% sure I thought it was coming to early access, but um, I don't think it is. It's just a release. Um, a lot more storage than I thought, and a lot less... It's not jump scary. That's That would have been a deal breaker, but um, yeah, as it is, going out and uh, doing these little drives, upgrading the car, it's got that little extra sort of, oh yeah, just one more run type of feel to it. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this little mess around in the game, and if you want to see more, have any tips, comments, suggestions, whatever, then let me know in the comments. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.